Okay, so first thing, I just want to make sure that everyone remembers and is aware that there is only one day left to get the three cars that you see on screen right now from the specialty dealer in Forza 7, but I actually found out what the next three cars are going to be that we're going to see here in the specialty dealer. The Forza team actually told us what they are. I will have a link in the description just in case anyone thinks I'm crazy or doesn't believe me. But the first one is going to be this little VW Type 2, which will be 23,500 credits. And as you can see with this car and the next two, you're going to see it as well. Any of the cars that are locked, it does not tell you how many credits the cars are worth or what they're going to be to buy. You might think at least, but then if you look at the top right, it actually does say how much credits they're going to be. So the second car is going to be the Chevy Impala, which as you can see at the top right is 32,000 credits. And then finally, the third car is going to be the Ferrari 250 LM. This is the expensive one, 1.35 million credits. So you're going to need just about 1.4 million credits to be able to buy all three cars. But I wanted to talk about just kind of the exclusivity of these three cars and just all the cars that we've been seeing through the specialty dealer like this McLaren 570S and the Pagani that we saw in this previous batch or current batch whenever you're watching this video. But the thing is, they actually talked about it also in the little website link that I'm going to have in the description on this video. And they basically said that these cars that are in the specialty dealer are currently only available via the specialty dealers, so that leads me to believe, and I was actually thinking about this before, these cars have to show up somewhere else eventually. I mean, there's no way they'd only have them show up one time for a week in the game and then never bring them back again, so if you're someone that's kind of been frustrated and just like, man, I gotta get these three cars, I gotta go earn all these credits, honestly, unless they're cars that you really want and really care about, I would not worry about it because I bet you you're going to see them somewhere again. Now keep in mind there is one advantage, one true advantage of buying these cars from the specialty dealer, and that's because just the collection score is actually higher than what the normal value of each car is. They do increase it a little bit. I'm sure you remember seeing in the dealer how they cross off the original amount let's just say 2200 collection score, and then they make it 2400. So that's probably the only true bonus of buying these cars from the specialty dealer. But I guarantee you, you're going to see all these cars eventually again somewhere else and still be able to get them. So don't stress about it. Don't just really just play the game just to buy cars from the specialty dealer and leave yourself with no credits. I don't think that's necessary. I bet you're going to see them somewhere else. But I really hope that this video helps everyone out. Let me know if you have any questions at all, and just check out that link in the description. You'll see them talk about the specialty dealer, and maybe you won't agree with me, maybe you're going to feel differently. Obviously, come up with your own opinions, but that's how I'm feeling. And honestly, I'm probably only going to buy the Chevy Impala from the next batch. I really don't care about that VW bus. And the Ferrari 250 LM, it's kind of a cool older car, but I don't want to spend 1.3 million credits on it right now, so... Honestly, I don't care enough to get that one, and that's how I'm feeling, so just let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you do decide to check out that link, what you think about the information they gave us, and do you like that they're kind of spoiling the cars that are going to be in the specialty dealer next? So keep in mind, Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern U.S. time, which is October 24th, that's when these next three cars are going to be available. The Volkswagen, the Chevy Impala, and the Ferrari 250 LM, so... I hope that everyone found this video to be helpful or useful in one way or another. If you did, drop a like, let me know. But thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.